guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the boxes around me, we have another banger. Last week's video was awesome. I think it's at like four or 5,000 views now, which is hilarious. It is getting really cold and chilly, so I highly recommend getting one of these hoodies. I think two people picked them up after last week and sent me those. So if you buy one and you send me a picture of you in it, I'll throw you in the video just so you guys can kind of get a little shout out because I had people asking, hey, Alec Mac, can you give me a shout out? And I'm like, this is a really easy way for me to do it. And it's pretty cool because you guys get to see all the different colors as well. It has been a while since I have done a high kappa as a part of an unboxing and today we have an absolutely beautiful one. Unfortunately the box did get a little uh, little messed up on the way here. Um, I saw this high kappa package on eBay and I was like dude that looks so cool. So I had to send it. It is always a good start to an unboxing when you have the Tokyo Marie 5.1 gold match box and inside we have this sweet thing which kind of moved a little bit during shipping but we have this awesome hi kappa dude this is so sick i saw this on ebay and i was like man that looks so cool i have never had one that has had as cool of a compensator this one is some of them that i've had are pretty nice but man doesn't that just look so clean right there i think it looks so cool so going from uh top to bottom we have a gunsmith bros triangle slide gunsmith and bros make some awesome uh, slides that look so good on these pistols. You can see it's got like triangle patterns all over it. He did keep the red fiber optic sight. And then up here, this is an elongated frame. So this is the stock frame, the stock 5.1 frame. And you see it only comes to about right there. It's like the lower frame, lower part of the frame um, that, that attaches to the grip right there. And it just looks so much cooler with this. You could honestly, if you wanted to, could run something like an AFG on this. It has a long enough rail segment. Usually you have to drill holes in this one and they're a lot shorter. But look at all that real estate there. It comes to about 10-ish inches, almost very similar to my Desert Eagle from Tokyo Murray, which I really like. Um, does have a lot of upgrades internally. It has an upgraded metal outer barrel as well. Upgraded hop-up, upgraded bucking, upgraded barrel. Um, has some better springs, I believe, that make it a little bit faster. It does have the Prometheus purple um, gas gasket on this, which is really nice. It actually helps the gas flow and increases the FPS by like 20, which is nice just to kind of get those added FPS since Tokyo Marines do shoot a little bit lower because they come from the, uh, Japan. Also came with the stock outer barrel um, flag. He included the old um, blowback housing. This is the stock one. It came with a dynamic precision one, which I've actually not heard of before, but it looks really nice. And he included some AIM green gas, which is kind of massive, and also included some biodegradable tracer BBs, which is pretty cool. So first gun in this unboxing absolutely beautiful I really love it I think it looks awesome and it will make a great addition to the high kappa family that I've already started alrighty for box number two this actually comes from my friend Jonathan um he was getting out of some of the parts he like here and there just like hey dude I have some stuff to sell and so he sold me three guns and shipped them last week and they got here like two days ago or something and so i am going to unbox the three guns that he sent me i uh, did have a little bit of a shipping mishap one of the outer barrels did kind of come out and looks like it's scratched a little bit i think the threads are still okay but we'll see in a minute round two in a row Yay! That was actually some pretty good distance, not gonna lie. All right, let's start out with gun number one. And this is actually the gun I was most excited for that he told me he had. I was like, oh man, you know, I absolutely love those. This is a Magpul PTS Masada. This is not one of the cheap, crappier AK, uh, ANK versions. Mm. These things look absolutely beautiful. The, you can just tell base versus the ANK versions that are a lot cheaper. These GMP slash PTS versions I, there's been a bunch of different renditions over the years i think this is the newer older one if that makes sense because there's a super old one that was made by gmp and then pts took over the licensing and stuff for that as well but like look at that man just absolutely beautiful gun it's got the magpul sticker on there as well but as soon as you pick up an ank one versus one of these real ones you can tell the difference i mean you can just feel how magpul -y this is i mean that's kind of I guess it's a little bit weird, but those of you, most of you probably that run a lot of Magpul know, man, that's absolutely awesome and so, so true. Um, pretty cool little texturing here. Um, you got some also some nice stock. This one looks a little bit cheaper stock-wise. The lines don't look as good as other GMP ones I had. You can just tell there's kind of some more mold marks. Some of GMP's old stuff, dude, is just so, so, so nice. So I think this is one of the in-between versions, if I'm not mistaken. He did include some mags with the gun as well. This is, I believe, the one that used to be with it. Yeah, so looks like the tan's a little bit different. Maybe it was this other color, but he included two of the really nice uh, GMP P mags, he included a hex mag, and then two of the GMP mags, which are, I think, one of the best mid caps on the market, if not the best. 
Um, these, are, these are the EPMs, and these are like half the price of the EPMs. And then finally, a Troy mag, which this one's a GMP licensed mag as well. It's basically these mags, but with a little bit different external. Alrighty, up next we have gun number two that he has included, and he gave me all the specs of all of these. I think they are in, upgraded somewhat internally. I believe this one as well is. This one is definitely one of his older guns. It's a Lancer Tactical Lonex kind of build, which is actually really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. I actually really like the lines and the bodies. You can kind of tell um, these controls look really cool. I love when you kind of have serrations and flared magwells. I think that looks super good on guns. It's got some sort of rail cover up here. Did not include the flash headers. I don't know if he included them in another part or kept some of them. I have extra ones if need be. Aim point comp two replica up top. These are really nice optics in the real world. And this one is out of batteries, unfortunately, but it does look like it has a blue option, which is pretty cool because some of those have red, green, and blue. I love blue red dots. I just think they're super cool. It's actually what I run on most of my uh, Black Ops 4 classes. If I can get um, a blue red dot, I'll throw it on there. Has a key mod rail system with some uh, plastic lower rails as well, just for added things if you want to. It's got nice iron sights as well. I actually can't even get over this body. It's super cool. It's kind of got like a KAC style trigger guard that's attached to the lower receiver. It's got some really cool controls. It looks like this is the bolt catch. I do not know if that functions, but it's kind of like an elevated bolt catch, if that makes sense. This one doesn't move very much. Mag release has a bigger button as well. It's, own, it's not ambi, it's only one side selector switch, but I actually really like this. This is an older Lancer Tactical slash Lonex gun. I would assume I've never seen these. I didn't even know they've had like a little crossover at all, but it's got a dial wheel as well. And that's a pretty nice second M4 in the video. And last but certainly not least, we have a tried and true. I believe this is a GMP M4. It's like their stubby version. Um, definitely feels like a GMP M4. Man, this takes me back to my little glory days. Young Alec Mack loved his GMP. I still love my GMPs to this day. But man, like I used to run around with the GMP baby monster in my field when I was barely probably over five foot, just absolutely going crazy, blasting a ton of bad guys. All the things that a young Call of Duty player turned and transitioned to Airsoft loves. Um, I don't know if this is the stock camo job, but it looks either it's really it's done really well or it's stock. I think this is just a really well done camo job. I don't think this is actually how it came. It looks like there's some body marks underneath this, as you can tell, but it feels really, really good. Um, now, granted, it could have come straight from the factory, but if not, John did a really good job with this. It does have a threaded suppressor up here. I believe this is threaded um, and also has a flash hider underneath, but I actually really like how that looks. It has a night evolution uh, little pad over here, which is pretty nice if you want to run that. It does have a IR slash all those cool real steel basically these ones for airsoft are just they use a light and then they have like sometimes like a green or red laser it does look like this one has a laser and two lights as well which is pretty cool so maybe it does have ir i don't really know if any of these cheap airsoft ones have true ir but some people may know i just don't i actually really like the two-tone of this as well this is kind of like a dark sand uh, kind of like a wet sand if that makes sense slash od um, but I really like the colorway. It does have a max hop up in there as well. They are really nice. And I've heard they feed really well in GMP bodies. Um, they're just really, really nice hop up system. And he does have a T1 up here as well. And it looks like it is also out of batteries, but no big deal. Super cool gun. So honestly, awesome package from Jonathan. No. Oh. You guys be making me come up with all sorts of creative ideas for how I'm going to open these box. This is a bicycle box. So my man shipped this in a bicycle box but you gotta fit it as well as you can so gabriel actually reached out to me this week as well he traded me for one of the polar stars from last week he said hey man i'm really looking to get into the hpa game and i would love to trade my vector for a polar star so we went ahead and did that oh yes wow another really good packing job good job gabriel so gabriel is trying to trade me um basically all of this for please don't fall out please don't fall out you know what time it is. Yeah, boy. <laughs> now that we got that unboxed, we still have a lot more tape and a lot of other stuff. But Gabriel was nice enough to include some of this extra stuff as well. He did. We did include this in the tray. This is a Matrix drop leg holster. I'm not exactly sure what pistol this is for. But he also threw this in, which is pretty cool. So this is, I believe, the chest rig that he used for the vector that you are about, about to see in a second. Um, I basically gave him my Polar Star and some other stuff with that as well. For these two guns you see here, 
specifically the vector and then he threw in the combat machine as well just to kind of sweeten the deal i'm gonna be honest i don't know whether to be proud or frustrated because you guys are doing such a good job packaging some of these things you send to me that it's taking me like five extra minutes on video and uh it's great i love it but i at the same time it's like how many times do you need to tape something I'm kidding, I'm mostly kidding. It is always better to overpack something than underpack something because you do not want it to break. But I just want to get into this gun, and so I am excited. Woo wee. It has also been a little bit of a minute since I have had a Chris Vector, and so he has done some sort of little paint job to this. He said he made sure that he clear coated it quite a few times, and it does feel really good. I'm always kind of hesitant when people tell me they spray paint guns because a lot of people don't know what they're doing, but Gabriel did a pretty good job with this. It does feel really good. Definitely feels like there's a lot of layers of clear coat, so it's not sticky, and he said he disassembled it and made sure that when he spray painted it, he only spray painted the parts that needed to be spray painted because if you're gonna spray paint just flat on the gun, and then you end up gumming up this mag release and you gum up the bolt catch and nobody wants that. In this package, I also got six mid caps. It is unfortunate that you have to buy so many mid caps and they're a little bit expensive with these, but it makes sense. I understand Chris is marketing with it as well and a lot of people do run mid caps, but it would be nice to have some high caps. I would prefer that guns come with high caps just so I can use them at like an open play. I know a lot of people just like are 50-50 on that. Like a lot of people like high caps, a lot of people like mid caps. Let me know down below. Would you rather have a mid cap come with your gun or a high cap? I prefer a high cap because then at least you can use it at an open play and then if you need to buy mid caps you can whereas you cannot really use this at an open play unless you're blasting through the 100 rounds or so you get and then hitting your speed loader and then blasting through the 100 rounds. I love that guns come out of the box ready to go and I know this is a nicer one so it doesn't include batteries or anything like that but I just wish they did include high caps. I actually really like this. It almost looks like one of those futuristic Stormtrooper style blasters. Hopefully I don't get Stormtrooper accuracy that comes from this. I would not like that because I don't want my accuracy to be negative 633 as opposed to a normal just zero or one or, or whatever uh, dexterity I'm running at the time. He did include a battery and a sling as well. I probably won't use this sling because I don't really like slings on airsoft guns. I love them for my real guns, but for airsoft I haven't found them super useful. Last but certainly not least, we have a actually pretty nice gun case in here. And then this is actually his first airsoft gun. So he traded basically both of the guns that he's been using for a while for a Polar Star, which is a pretty good upgrade in my opinion. Um, he said this one does have a little bit messed up barrel wise. It looks like this was glued and needs to be, I don't know, like re-glued or reset, but it's basically just a triangle sight. A barrel doesn't look like it's wobbling. It just looks like this is almost another outer barrel piece does have the stock Crytek fly strider on it as well. And these are the other two mags. We did include eight total with the Vector. And then he actually included this pretty cool four times zoom ACOG as well. I think it's like an AIM Sports or it's an e-bike one. Uh, you never know where half of these things are OEM by, by anywhere. Um, definitely looks like this gun is something that he has loved. Man, you can just tell guys when they've played with their guns. I don't think he's abused this one. I think he's just used it and played with it. Obviously, these are kind of hard. You, I think I actually have an extra end cap that I've got in a deal or two. And then I think this might actually be the electric blowback version or would have been at some level. Um, I don't know 100%, but it kind of looks like that. I've not seen the silver ones that are non-electric blowback. You'd have to take it apart and it'll see. Yeah, I think pretty sure this is the electric blowback because this one is only a shorter charging handle pull as well, but I won't use that. Most people kind of turn that off because it's cool to have it. But last but certainly not least, G and G M4. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully this was another banger week for unboxings. I've had some heat right away. It was a little bit low for that time, so thanks for hanging with it. Um, I appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you want to buy the hoodies, they're awesome. Also, I have patches and uh, stickers for sale. I include stickers in everything that I do sale-wise for you guys. If you buy or trade anything for me, I try and throw in a sticker. I don't always remember to because I kind of suck at that. But uh, lots of cool guns, obviously. Um, fall, stay safe. It's Rona season still. Um, I love you guys. This has been Alec McLenor. I'll see you guys soon.